السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته جريد 11 and 12 TP I hope you had a wonderful uh, vacation uh, I'm going to solve some IB past papers uh, on topic to mechanics uh, this will be our first uh, video uh, I've already shared this document with you on Google Drive it would be better to solve it yourself and then check this video if you have any question so let's start with the first question. The first question says, you have a graph that shows the variation. I have forces versus time. Forces in Newton, time with millimeter per second. You have always to be careful to the units. Okay. And this force uh, exerted on a tennis ball by a racket. The tennis ball was stationary at the instant when it was hit. The mass of the tennis ball is given to you. So this is M. This is M. The area <clears throat> under the graph, under this graph, forces versus time graph, is 0.84 Newton time second. Look at the unit. Newton time second, this is unit of what? Of impulse or change in momentum. And we know if I draw a relationship between force versus time, the area under the graph would give you, would, will give me the impulse. Now, what is the relationship between forces and momentum? Force is change in momentum with respect to change in time, and it's a vector quantity, both of them, which equals mass change in momentum, change in velocity with respect to change in time. If I did cross multiplication, force times change in time will give me mass times change in velocity. This we call it impulse and momentum theorem. Force times time, this is the impulse, equal mass times change in velocity, this is change in momentum. So this is impulse and momentum theorem. So this value, basically, it will give me the impulse, which will equal to the change in momentum. So if I, if I wrote this equation here, impulse will equal change in momentum, which is mass times change in velocity. The value of the impulse is 0.84 equals mass is 5.84. 8 times 10 to the power negative 2 times the change in velocity. I need the change in velocity, so I can divide both sides by this value, the value of the mass, 5.8 times 10 to the power negative 2, 5.8 times 10 to the power negative 2, I will get Velocity will equal 14.5 meter per second. Okay, part B of the question. Show that the average force exerted on the ball by the rocket is about 50. Now from Newton's second law, I have force equals what? Change in momentum. So F will equal change in momentum with respect to change in time. Change in momentum is the impulse, which is 0.84. So this will give me 0.84. Now it's time. It's time we should go to the graph. Here I have 0 and 10. And... The squares between 0 and 10, I have around 10 squares. So 10 squares divided by 10, it will give me 1. So each square will give me what? 1. So the graph will start around, this is 10, 11. I can take it from here, this value, 12. Till here, this is, I have a 25, 26, 27. It's around 28. This is a time millimeter so change in time it will be 28 minus 12 
28 minus 12. So divided by 28 minus 12 millisecond. Milli, it means times 10 to the power negative 3. We should get 53 Newton, which is around 50, because he wants me to prove it's 50. Okay? Part C of the question. Determine with reference to work, to the work done by the average force, the horizontal distance, the horizontal distance traveled by the ball while it was in contact with the rocket. So I need the horizontal distance. Now I know work is energy. Work equal a change in kinetic energy. Work also equal a change in gravitational potential energy. Now, since the rocket was in motion, I have a change in its velocity. So work here, W, will equal change in the kinetic energy of the ball. Change in the kinetic energy, it means half M times a change in the velocity square. M, it's 5.8 times 10 to the power negative 2. And the velocity the velocity from the same question, it's 14.5, so 14.5 square. And if I, if, I, if I calculate this one, I should get 6.1 joule. And there is another formula as well for the force. I know for the work, work equal what? Work equal force times displacement in the same direction of the motion. So W, it's... 6.1 force is 53 and times a displacement I can call it D it's better so I don't confuse with the time so times displacement D so I can find D 6.1 divided by 53 will give me 0.12 meter Okay, this is the first question. Second question, I will do it, inshallah, in the next video.